Hey everyone and welcome back to Middle Earth Shadow of War. On this video we're going to be doing the Shadows of the Past quest, Phylos. And this one is in the southwest portion of this area. So I guess we'll fast travel here. Alright, so it's only 840 feet that way. And I didn't actually know I could go through here. So, shouldn't take too long to get there. Hello, orcs. Goodbye, orcs. Phylos. Execute orcs who wouldn't yield to the Bright Lord. I bade invade Mordor. Phylos, the virtue of justice. Sauron had betrayed me and my people, and I was determined to punish him for it. Alright, so this is pretty easy. We're gonna blow up all the explosives, and that should get us almost... Whoops. The shaking threw me off there. Uh, that should get us almost all of the explosion kills we need for that bonus objective. There's one more explosive over here. There we go. There's our 15 kills. Now we just need to kill a drake and complete the main objective, which is to get more kills than the drakes. And usually a drake will land at some point. And if he does, I'll have an execute ready for him. If I could get him to land, though. Hmm. Normally they jump down by now. Let's get some more arrows. We might have to shoot one down. Why aren't you landing? Well, doing some decent damage to him. Maybe we can just shoot him. Broken. I could... Mount him if I wanted to. You'd think when he was broken, he would fall to the ground. Oh, wait. No, I thought he was going to do it. Alright, well, definitely beating them for kills, so I'm not too worried about that. Might just be able to kill this guy with arrows. Well, he's pretty tough. Nope, still not going down. Oh, here we go. Nope, never mind. He's not coming down either. Why are you guys being stubborn? Need more arrows. Alright, now I gotta be slightly careful. They are starting to catch up on kills. Oh, and I'm getting low on health. Let me, uh, consume somebody. Oh, wrong button, no! Oh, well. I wonder if I could, uh, stealth this guy. Nope. Uh oh. Oh, here we go. Oh, I can't. Uh, I thought I still had my execute going. Whoops. Well, that's okay. We got saved. Uh, didn't we? Yes. Right. Health rage, go. That should kill the drink, I think. Or maybe not. Yep, he's down. All right, let me get some might, and then we'll consume, and then we should be good. Oh, or we'll just uh, complete the mission. So you can see, very easy, even with my screw-ups there. Just blow up the explosives at the beginning, that should get you your kills. Wait for a drake to fall down, or try to shoot one down like I did, although that wasn't really working. And then just make sure you get more kills, pretty simple. I brought Sauron to the brink of defeat, but justice has eluded me so far. And another skill point. What shall we get this time? Um, well, I kind of want this skill right here, the Wraith Chain, 
where you can uh, stealth kill additional targets by uh, pressing square. Looks like up to four kills, or possibly more. Um, so that's pretty sweet. This ability is kind of useless as far as I can tell, but I guess we may as well get it because we need to. So, poison tendril. I can now poison grog barrels from afar. We'll see if that comes in handy at all. I highly doubt it. Okay, um, so... Let's go do this outpost. A little bit of a ways to get there. 1,200 feet. Now, I know I can go along the sea's edge, but... I think I have to go up a little bit higher. Yeah, maybe up here. I also need a worm. So I know what I'm up against and I don't see any yet. Still no worm, okay. There's got to be one over here, though. Somewhere. Or... Maybe not. Hmm. They're usually not rare, but apparently they are around here. Oh, there we go. There's one way over there. Don't think I can go that way. Hey. Stop running into everything. Alright, where was that dude? Around here somewhere. Um, where did he go? I know I saw one. Alright, I'm not going crazy, am I? There was definitely a worm. Oh, that guy's raising the alarm. That's no good. Well, I guess we may as well... Oh. I was gonna say we may as well get some treasure, but uh, didn't let me sneak attack. Alright, seriously, where is this freaking worm? It's hiding! Alright, screw it. We're just gonna do it. Hopefully a worm will show up or something, I don't know. But, we don't need the intel. It just helps. Draw out the outpost leader by killing his defenders. Your defenders are no more protection than a fog. Bonus objective is to do two aerial brutalizes. Oh, and there's a worm. I guess we spawned a worm. There he is, up there. I think that's him, yep. Uh, is this the guy? Uh, yep, that's him. He's flammable, vulnerable to stealth. He's got a fear of spiders, so if I can blow up a campfire, that'll be good. Ranged attacks, executions, and poison will work. He's got a gang of hunters. He's a beast slayer. He's a beast master. Uh, advanced class at one with the creatures of Mordor. Beasts will not attack him. He's got bestial roar. Utters a beastly roar that calls Karagurs to battle. Heals allied beasts and compels them to attack his target. Well, that could be nasty. He's got feral claws, tackles and brutalizes you with massive claws, and he's got the hunter spear. He's enraged by poison. Oh, I better not headshot him then. And he is beast proof. Alright, well, he could be slightly a pain, but if I can blow up a campfire, should be simple.
Oh no, wrong target! Well, it scared him at least. I need one. Oh, wait. Oh. I guess the aerial brutalize works on anything. So I've got that done and was trying to do a stealth kill there. It didn't quite work. Right over the shield. Nah, not gonna be able to make that shot. How about a stun? Stun doesn't work because you blocked it. Oh, actually, let's just lead them over to this barrel. Explosions are fun. No, stop vaulting and shoot the stupid barrel. Thank you. Um, let's see, five more? They've all got spears, I don't like it. All right, ooh, there's a campfire there. We'll save that. We'll blow that up, though. Oh, I'm on fire. I thought it was far enough away. And I'm not sure how they just got on fire. That's weird. Oops. Uh, let's do a consume. Then we'll jump to another target. Consume him. That's pretty sweet. I like that. Uh, he's not one, is he? No. No. Oh, hit the shield. Alright, I need two more kills and I need some arrows. Ow! Why do they hit me? I'm a nice guy, I swear. There we go, arrows. You kill my defenders! Now what am I gonna do with all those spears? <laughs> I'm to storm something! Alright, let's do this. Ice. Got a new entry for Beastmaster. This is the first one I fought. Oh, I tried to do a ground execute and parry, but it didn't work. When my beasts tear you apart, it makes this wet, ripping sound. Oh, it makes my heart pound, it does. Alright, are we near that campfire? Uh. We are, but it's not lit anymore. What's up with that? Ah, crap. Alright, got him to half health. Hurry him up. Oh, I missed the parry. Oh, just a stealth kill on that guy. How's that work? I don't care how many there are. I'll take you all. Oh, getting surrounded. All right, maybe we'll not headshot him, but just shoot him. Shoot him in the chest so he doesn't get poisoned. That's right, run away from me. Hey, another skill point. And a warrior, or not warrior gem, um, wealth gem for doing the bonus objective. Run from me. Run from me. Oh, we got some Marion over there. May as well pick that up. And now what skill are we going to get? I guess we'll get uh, what I was talking about. The multiple stealth kill wraith chain. Looks pretty sweet. Let's get that. Okay, what are we doing next? I believe there was a monument here. Oh, right next to me. Come on, right Literally right next to me. Well, that'll give me another gym. Is 
It's time a life gem. And there's a high deer here. Let's go purify that, see what it reveals. Uh, well, we've already got one of the artifacts and one of the Ithildin. There's another Ithildin. Let's see, there's something over there, but I believe we have a few things over here. One of them is a Shelob memory. There's something else near the barrows. Artifact. Another artifact. Artifact, and that's everything. Alright, so I guess we'll get that Ithildin first. It's right next to me. Next, we will get the Shelob memory. 500 feet that away. Didn't mean to climb this, but okay. The old gods abandoned us, and the music of the world was thrown into disarray. He saw it as his mission to set it right. One dark lord correcting the mistakes of another. The future is filled with them. Each one determined to save the world from itself. To purge the chaos. To rule all. I think it's about right here, maybe? No, that's not right. Ah, right here. Getting close. Er, uh, no. Doing this wrong. Ah, here we go. It's coming together. After Morgoth came Sauron, and after Sauron... After Sauron will come peace. Okay. Um... Let's get that artifact. Looks like we're going past some Karagers. Last time, these guys, like, hunted me down as I tried to run away. These ones aren't quite as fast. I don't know what was up with that other one, but he was ridiculously quick. And I could really use some focus. Alright, we're going back to this fortress. Looks like a war chief summon right there. But not interested in doing that just yet. I just want this artifact. Oh, hey, treasure orc. Let's get him. Uh, didn't give me anything. Oh, here's another one. Oh. Well, wow, whatever. Hey, Walt Jim. Yeah. 
Out of focus again. We Gondorians are a seafaring people. Though our ships ply the coastlines and rivers, rarely venturing into the open sea. Yet it was not always so. Our ancestors, the Numenorians, and their elven allies sailed to other lands in ships like this model. Sailors even claim it's possible to sail so far into the ocean that land is too distant to see in any direction. Hard to imagine. So I suppose I'll have to see it for myself someday. Did the elves truly sail in vessels such as these? In the First Age, this would count among the most ordinary ships in our fleet. Okay, um... There's an artifact right there, let's fast travel here. Oh, poison! Oh, apparently you can't use elf speed when poisoned. That sucks. Oh, never mind. Probably could have, I was just out of focus. Not every author seeks to inspire. Some seek to instruct. So it is with Contrivances of Carpentry by Pelwyn of Lossenach. I spent many an hour tracing the wondrous diagrams within this tome. Instructions for building everything from hobby horses to windmills to catapults. I wonder sometimes who taught more printer's carpenters, Pelwyn or his book? As a lad, I was always fascinated by woodwork, turning boards into furniture, a home. Talion the Craftsman. That I'd have liked to see. Okay, let's... whoops, didn't mean to go there. I believe we have one more artifact, and we do, it's up there. So we're gonna fast travel to the Barrows. Those who live in Gondor's lowlands could easily forget how close to Mordor Minas Ethel was. Few of Gondor's people devote more than a moment's thought to its borders, or what lies beyond. For them, the threat of Mordor is distant indeed. I've never seen a map of Gondor so detailed. Yet look at how little your people know of other lands. Okay, and I believe that's everything we've discovered so far. Uh, yeah, pretty much. And then we've got this idea over here. As soon as we purify that, we'll get a skill point. Alright, so there's one other thing I wanted to show you. And that is the market. Welcome to the market. You can spend Mirian and gold here to buy chests from the headhunter. Chests contain powerful gear, boosts, orc followers, and training orders to upgrade your followers. You can also deploy your followers, open your chests, or activate your boost from the garrison. Um, so, for some reason, I have two unopened chests. I don't know where I got these, it might have just been for pre-ordering, but let's go ahead and open them. Uh, this is where your unopened chests can be viewed. Chests can or chests you purchase from the market, as well as chests awarded to you from other sources, are all stored here. Open chests to reveal their contents. Uh, so I've got this gold war chest. And 
it's doing a bunch of stuff. I don't even know. Alright. And we got some followers. So, uh, this guy, he's a level 15 legendary. That's pretty sweet. You can see all their uh, immunities and weaknesses. Everything about him, he's, uh, he's a tracker. I'm not too worried about what he's good or not good at. This is a Spoils of War boost. A potion that boosts your Spoils of War gain by 100% for two hours. I think that's online stuff, not positive. Uh, we got an epic follower there. Another Spoils of War boost. And we have another epic follower. Okay, so let's back out of here. And then we also have this promotion chest, a legendary champion's war chest. New idea. Looks like I'm gonna get some more followers though. Wow. Literally legendary. Okay. So we get the Poisonous Dark Assassin Legendary, we get the Poisonous Feral Beastmaster Legendary, the Warmonger Commander, and the Machine Destroyer. And I think if I view details on this, I might get a new appendix. Because I don't think I've seen anyone in the Machine Tribe yet. So we'll see if that added it. Uh, and then we got this. Mount Training. Grants a follower a Kerriger Mount. You've obtained a training order. Training orders can enhance your followers with powerful traits. In the army menu, select a follower and press triangle to command him. Then select square training orders. Press X to continue. Alright, so... Wait, what's all this other stuff? Oh, there's my seven followers. This is where your unplaced followers from chess can be viewed. Once you reach Act 2, you can deploy these followers to a region of your choice. You can also sacrifice followers for gear. So I can kill them for gear. That's kind of cool. Uh, so there's my epic followers and there's my legendary ones. Okay, and then these are my boosts. This is where you can view your unused boosts. As well as your currently active boosts. Activate a boost to apply its effect. Alright, uh, you can buy chests here, but these cost uh, gold. I believe gold is purchased with real money. That's my best guess. Especially since it says get more with triangles, so. I assume that's gonna cost you real money. I've got no interest in doing that. Uh, these also cost gold, although apparently they're uh, on sale right now. This one costs Mirian, a silver war chest. These other two cost gold. Uh, and then we have loot chests. That one's Mirian. These ones are gold. And then there's also uh, experience boosts and uh, spoils of war boosts. And uh, I don't think we can do much with the followers just yet. I don't think we've progressed far enough. Um, but we should be able to soon. And there's a bunch of uh, trophies around the fall, like doing various things with your followers. So um, we'll be doing lots with that, at least to get the trophies and probably just to do the... Uh, regular stuff in the game but we haven't got that far yet so let's back out of here and uh let's see apparently i got new inventory new chest piece it's a level 16 rare 15 or 18 percent chance that a critical hit lights enemies on fire uh, i still prefer my curse even though that has way more health and a higher level. I'm digging that curse, so. And it's also really easy to light enemies on fire. I've got plenty of ways to do it, so let's just destroy this. Get some more Mirian. Okay, and we got at least one new appendix. And that would be for Beastmaster. Bread for War. What I leave of you will feed my pets. What they leave will feed the wild beasts. And then nothing will be left at all. Og the Claw. B 
Beastmasters harness Mordor's deadliest beasts, Karagers and Grogs, for Sauron's war effort. Success is not guaranteed, however. Trained beasts are rare in Mordor's armies because so few of them survive the training at the hands of Beastmasters. But when a Beastmaster has a trained beast at his disposal, he can safely leave it off the leash, lurking nearby. The Beastmaster might seem to be alone, but he can call upon a lethal menagerie to defend him at a moment's notice. In keeping with Orc's cruel nature, the Beastmasters are as adept at killing beasts such as ghouls and drakes as they are at taming more pliable beasts. I think that's it. Shouldn't have anything new anywhere else. Yep. I believe we're all caught up. So, thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.